Well, tense moments last night as SWAT surrounded a home in northeast Spokane using tear gas to get the suspect to finally give up and come out of the house. The man who prompted it all by refusing to come out was really supposed to be there helping police. He appeared in court today, and you'll want to hear his interesting background. Hawk Hammer working for you with those new developments tonight. Hawk, you also talk, uh, talked exclusively with a resident of that home. She says that guy was her ex-boyfriend? Well, that's right, Nadine. It was certainly a long night for her, the resident of the home here. Up on the hill, you can see the lights are on tonight, and all the windows are thrown open after tear gas was used by SWAT teams in last night's standoff and ready to go. SWAT teams surrounded the home where a man the police believed to be dangerous was camped out. SWAT showed up and surrounded my house. The resident of the home, Wendy Shy, says it all started by happenstance when her ex showed up knocking. My ex and friend um, came to my door and I let him in. All of a sudden she said she was surrounded. I have no idea what it was about. After asking the suspect to exit the house, a SWAT team, guns drawn, shields up, threw tear gas into the house. And my dog came out <laughs> and um, walked over to me after they had released the tear gas, and so I had him. An emotional experience. But why the huge response? Why so quickly? KXLY worked to find out. And here's what we found in court documents. The suspect, now identified as 33-year-old Juan Berrigan, had been previously arrested for possessing a stolen firearm and possession and intent to deliver meth and heroin. This was three days ago. Shortly after that, in order to avoid federal charges, he agreed to be a criminal informant. Yesterday, Bergen was released from jail to help catch narcotics traffickers. To do that, he was given $6,000 in police money, plus more money to rent a motel room, where he was to meet the traffickers under constant surveillance by the police. But that didn't happen. Instead, Bergen took off, winding up at his ex-girlfriend's house, with the police fast on his tail. For Wendy, the situation that unfolded on her front porch seemed completely avoidable. I mean, I'm pretty pissed that he would bring this to me in the first place. But she doesn't hold a grudge against her ex-boyfriend. I'll pray for him. I care for him. This is a charge of theft in the first degree. Today, his bail was set at $50,000. His next court appearance will be January 23rd. According to court documents, after last night's standoff, police recovered the complete uh, $6,000 that they had given him. Reporting live in Spokane, I'm Hawk Hammer, KXLY4 News. Thank you, Hawk.